Hello, my name's Jendo, and today I'm going to build a 2x2 flush piston door. I'm going to show you how to wire it up so you can use a button and it stays open. You run through it at your leisure and then push a button again to close it. Now the redstone is uh, fairly simple. Try to make it as compact as possible. Um, what we've got here is a monostable circuit connected to a T flip flop. And uh, yeah, it's a fairly simple build, so let's get on with it. First of all, we've got to build the 2x2 two two flush piston door. Um, I've already done a video for this, so I'll put a link in the top. There we go, put the blocks along the top there. And we need repeaters. Put them onto two ticks, like so. And then just fill in the redstone like that. Oops, not that. That. <laughs> right, there's our two two by two flush piston door. Next we're gonna do is put that oop, that there, like so. Piece of glass and that there. And I put the button on that one and the button on that one. See what I do is uh, put a couple of blocks in for the doors. Okay, so put a repeater face in this direction and some redstone along there. This has to be glass so it uh, doesn't interact with that piston there, like so. Okay, now we're going to put an observer facing, well, pointing upwards, facing down, and then a block on top of that and then a piece of redstone dust. And we go back to a sticky piston, whack that there, and put a block on there. Okay, next we need a repeater on this block, facing in that direction, and then a piston there, and a piece of redstone there. And uh, that's it should all be working so let's try it out and there we go door opens you go through door closes like so obviously you fill this in hide the uh, hide the redstone um, right now let's say you wanted to uh, move this uh, button and make a secret button instead uh, there's lots of different ones. I made a video of some hidden inputs, so I put that in the top right hand corner there. And what you need to do is take that glass out like so, and we go down a few blocks, put some observers going up like that, and then we put the uh, piston there. Let's just check we've done that right. There we go. <laughs> Right, so then what you can do is you can uh, put your redstone from your whichever hidden input method you use, uh, as long as it's a momentary input, that will work. And uh, as you can see, door open and closes. Right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.